I'm Spencer. I'm Eric. <clears throat> and I'm happy to be back. And this is The Itch. <laughs> and we're here to review <laughs> Super, Super Mario, Mario Maker. Maker. All right, so Eric here is going to start playing around. He's going to make his own little level. Oh, snap. Buttons. Yep, he can jump buttons. around with Mario. So what is Mario Maker? Let me answer that for you. Thank you for asking, Justin. You're... What's my... Oh, you got me. Yep. So Mario Maker is Shit. A Nintendo's attempt to have a level creator for Mario. And that's exactly... That's all it is. It's a level creator that you can then put on the internet and send to anybody. Oh, that's actually Eric's hand. Yeah, that's actually Eric's hand. It knows exactly what your hand looks like. Very feminine. Yeah, you got Very a, feminine features. Yeah, nice little Manny going on there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I do what I can. So this game lets you make your own levels and then put them on the internet for everybody to play, and then you can rate those levels. What? You can go online and, and have a whole community full of Mario fans. It's basically Mario's 30th anniversary Bruja. So I'm actually seeing you, you can switch which kind of Mario you are too. Absolutely. That's cool. You can do the newer stuff, which is what I prefer, the 3D three or the 3D looking Mario. You can go all the Very way back surprising. to NES. You can go to Super Mario World. You can go to Mario 3. Uh-huh. The reason that I like the, the one the one weird thing about it is that each one has follows the rules of that game. Oh. So the newest one has a wall jump. And for that reason alone, I, I require, I always use that one. Yeah, that makes sense. It makes adds a levels. new dimension to it. Yeah, very uh, vertical. Yeah. Now, here's the deal is you have this panel here and it shows you all the different types of things you can use and you can create a custom panel at the bottom if you have a theme to your level. Ooh, fancy! Yeah. And they all get up and they do little dances. <laughs> you can't hear it, but the music in this game is fantastic. Is it? Highly, highly recommend it. So composed by Shigeru Miyamoto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm making the music. I, I do it now. Yeah. Uh, why is he? Anyway, keep going. <laughs> so, so what you do is you drag stuff on there. You can make the levels as long as not as long as you want, but pretty long. Oh, that's you can terrible. torture poor Mario right there. And you can add again. You can add the backgrounds right there to make it look different. The background. <laughs> and you can do a whole bunch of stuff. And what I found that a lot of people do is they tend, especially when they first make a level, is they make it almost impossible. They, they try to throw as many different pieces of crap at you as possible and make it nearly uh, impossible to complete. Come on, man. Build something. <laughs> so what Eric's doing is looking around at all his beautiful so, options. I actually do have a question. Okay. How do I make the ground? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So go to your, t- oh, go to your tile set. You're going to need water and lava. Tile set. Yeah. So it's this down arrow right here. Okay. Yeah, go there. And it, it actually is the one that you're highlighting right now. That so, yeah, yeah, go. And there you go. She if just... you want to extend that, you hit that yellow button. And you oh, but you okay. Already stuff in front of you. How do I erase? You can either, it's that blue line right there, the blue box. <laughs> it's yeah. blue box. Each individual right block. And you can erase it, or you can hit the dog and undo Oh, that's an eraser? I thought it was a present. No, yeah. yeah, you know why? Because look at Mario freaking out because there's an eraser. He's like, yeah. I don't want to die. He doesn't want to be erased. Yeah, man. Too bad. Oh, maybe you can't extend that. You can extend the end. Maybe you can't extend the beginning. But you can go up and down. God. And so what you do is you build all these crazy little maps. Whoa! See that? See how easy it is? Even it's Eric so can great, do it. Great. <laughs> and he extends it. If you want, you can go to the very end of the level. Or you can do that. And you can just pull it. You see how on the yellow thing you has arrows on the sides? Mm-hmm. You can make it longer. Clap you your want. hands. <laughs> Sorry. Here, keep going. <laughs> God, you are all over them. <laughs> we're going left. We're going right. <laughs> now, what this does is it makes awesome use of this little controller here. Mm-hmm. Very few games on the Wii U actually take full advantage of it. It's ironic coming from Nintendo, especially when you look at the Wii. Mm-hmm. They purposed a lot of shit around the Wii. Yeah. So that's good that this game does it. Yeah, it does a there really, really great job. Mode. And it also has an excellent job is what he's doing right now is testing your creation as you're playing it. Oh, you can literally just switch between play and edit. Oh, no. And then, of course, he's going to die. <laughs> uh, and it takes you right back to play. Suicide. When you play these games, when you're making a level, you're going to die constantly because we are all terrible at making levels. So, <laughs> Well, except for Spencer, apparently. No, I make fantastic levels. <laughs> but I've died many times making playing my levels. And you have all these different options. Like you can make little. I like the vine personally. I think it adds a really cool dimension to it. And you can switch the different 
<laughs> That's for Eric because he's not very good at these. Games. You should start uh, your level with just one ups, like all the way at the top, just to tease people. Yeah, <laughs> and you can switch to the different uh, types of Mario levels on the fly as well. <laughs> Got some gravity. So you go back to edit, and you can switch to all the different types if you go in the very top left. So you go to Mario Three. Woo! Are you so fancy? <laughs> It's amazing. You got original. Original. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. And you got a new. The new one is the one I always use. Again, I'm it, it has things like wall jumping, which is fantastic for level design. And I just, I love it. I heard some people aren't, aren't too into it. And it does have different, I guess, uh, physics. Different physics involved. <laughs> You're shit. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Eric. Just beat his first level. Woo! Oh, sorry, guys. That is super loud. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Destroyed some eardrums. Yeah. But overall, it's, it's it's really, really fun. It's a, it's pretty addictive to get into your, your first levels. And levels can take anywhere from 20 minutes for a really simple level to several hours to complete. Well, I have a question, then. Okay. Can you make a really long-ass level? Like, a, like mm. it takes, like, three minutes to beat four minutes? Sure. I mean, yours kind of do yeah. in that sense. So what, what you have to do when these... you got to look at your theory. And you have to, you have a, a limited amount of space. He's using the maximum amount right now. Yeah. That's the max amount of length you can make a level. Um, so what you do have is verticality. Not a lot, but you have some. You could snake that. So what I always found myself doing was making, building my levels vertical, turn, and then go down, making it that way. Yeah. And so with that aspect, yeah, you can make it, you can make them last three, three minutes and stuff like that. Not, no, there's nothing going to be crazy long, but you know. You can, you can give it some length. They could be pretty big. Now, here's some downsides to this game. It's, it's kind of annoying. Is that it staggers what you can get. You when you first start, you basically get one row. Probably even less than one row at the top of, of usable items. And uh, it's really, really annoying. It's it's the first... The, out of the box, that's all you get. There's like five tools. To how, do you, how do you unlock more? That's the annoying part. You unlock more by building and through time because it, it will then say tomorrow you'll get a new upgrade what are you my dad like, yeah tomorrow you, bitch. so one weird shit. thing that you end up doing and this is a this is a weird trick there's a couple tricks to getting ahead in this game and it's definitely not intentional god damn is you oh, you take fuck? you start on one side of the map and you build terrain and you just drag it across the screen and then go back and forth dragging it all the way across until it says Hey, you're gonna get a new upgrade tomorrow. That's so fucking stupid. And then you know what the other trick is? What's that? Go in the internal clock on your Wii U <laughs> and push it forward. I was explaining to you guys when, when we first turned on this game because it said it was Thursday and we do our show on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. I said, there's a reason that it says Thursday. It's because it actually thinks it's October. <laughs> <laughs> God, so you have everything? Yeah, I have everything. Can you get Bowser in this? Yes. Really? You can get Bowser, you can get Bowser Jr. You should have some Bowser battles. I see Chomp Chomp. Yeah. And there's some amazing things you can throw into it. <gasps> if you're really creative, what people have done that's really, really awesome is they made shoot 'em ups. Because you can get, you know, you know, Super Mario World at the end when you, there's like the cup? You can get into the cup and then they give you the firepower where you can shoot fireballs. Mm -hmm. So you're in the cup with the ability to shoot fireballs. And you're done. And you fly around, they put little obstacles in the way and they put other flying enemies, you shoot them and stuff. It's really fun, actually. <laughs> it's really brilliant. And then every, and then so when you actually play online a little bit, you mind switching the online mode? Online? Yeah. But his so you level. go to course world. <clears throat> so when you go into course world, that's when you actually play other people's levels. Mm -hmm. So you go to courses, and here's where you get to see the really the newest ones. You can go by star <laughs> ranking. <laughs> Oh my God. You can go by star ranking. You can go by any of that, uh, and it tells you, you know, where they're from. A lot and all of that people cool stuff. are really into don't press anything levels. I've seen. Yeah, that's annoying. Damn, you are just you hate all things good. Don't you? No, I hate all things that are, are not. Nira Mo is about to get some free publicity up in here. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens in these is that a lot of them are like Rube Goldberg kind of things, where it does the level for you. And as as fun and cool and creative as these are. It's not real gameplay, and it's kind of annoying that this is the main way that they went with it. Now, it's cool, and it looks like it took a lot of time. Yeah, 
a lot of uh, a lot of effort went into this. Oh, snaps. <laughs> Yo should just straight die. But again, it doesn't really make any sense. Now, what you're seeing are a lot of people's comments on there. You can comment anywhere you want. So stuck on. And you can turn those off because sometimes they do get in the way. But it's kind of curse, can you? <laughs> it's kind of cool to see uh, all the different comments that people have left and everything. Hmm. And they'll, they'll sometimes give you hints on like, hey, you, by the way, you got to dodge that. <laughs> there's, they'll tell you like, there's a secret, uh, whatever here. square here that you can hit Ooh. and get stuff from it. And then that's where you can put a comment or a star rating. So, oh, pretty cool. It gives you the flag to let you know you beat it. Yeah, and you can download the levels if you want to play them <laughs> offline somewhere, which is a really cool. I'm, I'm impressed that they had the foresight to put that in there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, tall, tall mountain. Let's see. And this one's in the classic uh, Super Mario World as well. Now, a lot of I, people redo that? the levels, don't they? Like, Yeah, like... I think right now this one is from a DS game. Okay. You so mentioned that's cool. that. Oh, okay. damn. <laughs> it's not very good. So, and you see that X at the bottom? Mm -hmm. If you die in a place, it leaves an X. And so anybody that dies leaves an X, so you can see where people are dying a lot. And that, as a creator, you can take that information and go back and say, you know, a lot of people are dying at this part. Maybe I didn't do a very good job. So it's like Dark Souls with bloodstains. Yeah, exactly. Yay. You know, a lot of, I build my levels with Dark Soul in mind, not really? real in Mario. I build them very difficult, but fair. <laughs> you saw my levels. Yeah. And they're, they're so they're very difficult. But as, lo as long as you know what you're doing and the mechanics of the game, you can usually get through it. Now, what a lot of these levels online do is they they uh, they throw a lot of crap at you, which you don't necessarily want. And they a lot of them are like the last one he showed you where it just guides you through the level. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, the community really gets into that, which not necessarily that's a bad thing, Ouch. but sometimes it's a trick to find like really good levels okay. that people have made that are actually like require skill and are entertaining to play. I'm sure if you, you know, if you messed around a little bit, maybe found a community online, you could probably find a group of people that are like, Oh yeah, really no doubt. Into competitive and there, there are makers in there. You can search by maker as well. Mm. So you can find a maker that makes good levels, and then just follow him and, and get all of his. Follow, like, comment, subscribe. I like us. I don't know if you can follow. Makers. What the heck just happened? Your secret level, man. Jump, jump. Go, go right and jump, or go down and left and jump. Beat the level. Try to go God, that. dude. Yeah, hurry up, Eric. Come on. Jeez. <laughs> you ain't good. Get good, Eric. It's <laughs> fucking mean. So what are the what are the pros of this game? Oh, there's also a, a 100 Mario thingy you can do, where you just get 100 Mario's, and those are your lives, mm -hmm. and you try to make it through like a certain amount of stages, and that's always cool because you're kind of like sh like just shotgun a whole bunch of content, <laughs> you just kind of figure out how to get through it. But uh, you're not small enough. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, you're. Right. Again, sometimes that just you know that's the way it is. Watch out for those. You get levels that you don't necessarily want to do get some weird shit so let's talk about the pros and the cons the pros nostalgia is heavy in this game <laughs> if you're if you were ever in a mario you'll definitely find something to like here it's got shit. all that shit oh, going shooting PlayStation. Ah! And, and, and this even it doesn't even specify what kind of mario so it's like i only like nes mario well there you go there's some nes mario for you you want super <laughs> nintendo mario here's what we're playing right now is super nintendo there's no uh... if you want newer mario you got it so there's really not a demographic that it misses I'm just waiting for the sequel to this one, where it's yeah. like um, Super Mario 64 or Super Mario. Oh, Sunshine Mario Maker. 3D Maker! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that would get into some weird stuff. <laughs> that would be interesting. Yeah, no doubt. But so other pros, the graphics are nice. It's nice to see everything kind of in that very classic sense. In that murderous sense. Yeah. yeah that's nice. So that's always nice to see. It's not gonna blow you away graphically. But it's, you know, it pays Mario homage to the has. games that it was going for. Sega uh, has. The Mario Maker itself is very easy to use. You can make a lot of stuff and very quickly you'll understand how to make it. Like Eric was making levels and, you know. I don't know <laughs> shit. You want to call that a level? <laughs> All he knows is Sonic, so he doesn't know anything about game design. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Blast core, bro. <laughs> Blast core process. <laughs> so there's that. You know, I will say that I, my girlfriend loves watching me play it. The, the kid loves watching the kid lo she loves watching us play it and she made, made a level she's begging me to upload her level and so i finally did it's terrible <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Uh, well, I'm happy she doesn't watch it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not very good, but I, I uploaded it just to be nice, and I'm, I'm terrified of... If it gets more stars than me, I'm going to be so pissed off. <laughs> You're like, good job! Yeah, I love this what level. It takes, like, two seconds to beat her first... I, it, took me, it took me a while Smiley. to explain to her that you have to beat your own level before you can upload it. <clears throat> and she's like, so I can't make it impossible. And I was like, no. You have to make it doable. Right. God damn! Yeah. <laughs> anyway... So final verdict. The cons would be other people's levels are uh, questionable. Oh, you can't run over the lava? No! What? <laughs> this isn't Sonic. This isn't a good game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Anyway, other levels, design, other levels are questionable. Yeah, other levels are questionable. People will upvote all those kinds of levels that, you know, are just like, it looks like I did a lot, Shit. but I actually did absolutely nothing. They're like, literally don't touch the controller levels. Yeah. And there's a lot of very gimmicky levels, which are fun for about 20 seconds, and then you're like, okay, I'm done with this. That is a thing. Um, there's other questionable things. When you're making a level, there are no slants, which is kind of weird. Like, you can't make terrain <laughs> that goes at an incline. Okay. Which is kind of like a lot of really cool levels have come from that. Is that Z? Not a Z axis yeah. per se, but it's it's more just the idea that you can slide or run really fast down a thing. It's X Y axis, and they oh. they took it out, and I, I don't understand why. It seems like something really simple, yeah. but well, Mario Mario has the concept of momentum to it, but yeah. it's not like well, it could have been really cool. Could have been cool. Could have been really neat. Is this another? Oh, never mind. So the, and there's the other part is they got the amiibo support, which you're miss you're not really missing a whole lot of content. But it's, it would have been nice if they would have found some way to give you the content, regardless of if you had Amiibos or not. Yeah, I, I've never been a fan of Amiibos, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to buy any Amiibos, fuck that. <laughs> oh, snap, you took out Bowser. Yeah. You took out Bowser! So, what's my final verdict on this? This is a $60 game. Is would I pay $60 bucks? for this any day of the week? No. There's not enough content here. And granted, how could there be? It's all player created. So there's not necessarily a whole lot you can really Shit. do. And for $60, probably not worth it. Yeah. Now, it's kind of hard to rate that because, again, this isn't your traditional game. So some people will find tons of hours to put into it and some people not. So it's kind of difficult to gauge that. I would say between $30 and $40 is very good for this game. Finer. Yeah. Yeah, 30 or 40 bucks. Granted, Nintendo will never <laughs> lower the price on this game because people will buy it out of pure nostalgia. Like, oh my yeah. god! Here's the... <sighs> Here's the thing. These are not good levels. No, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Is online the levels you find online are just difficult to find a really good one. So you got to make it yourself. Yeah. Even then, I I'm gonna I don't wanna I don't wanna pay sixty bucks for this. This is like RPG Maker and playing all your friends' crappy ass RPGs. Well, no, you there's good ways to look up levels. You can look up by Maker. Ooh. And when you look them up by Maker, it's a little bit less of a crapshoot. When you play like a new these weird ones, it's kind of weird. But yeah, so sixty bucks is a little bit steep for this one. I would say between thirty and forty dollars. Oh, Damn. Oh, look at all the playstations. Let's see, look at that crap. Anyway, so there's a lot of there's a lot of weird stuff kind of going into it. But yeah, I would say thirty bucks to forty dollars. You're getting yourself a good deal. And we'll definitely play. I, I'm challenging Justin to beat one of my levels. Um, Eric, I guess I would challenge you, but you don't seem to be very <laughs> talented. Wow. <laughs> I, I, I mean, thanks for the compliment. <laughs> oh, the floor is spikes? The floor is spikes. <laughs> anyway, I'm Spencer. I'm Eric. And the floor is spikes. And, and that's PlayStation shit. Take it easy. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a like and comment below. We do videos including quizzes every Tuesday and a podcast every Friday. Check us out on twitch.tv slash thisistheitch and theitchnetwork.com where you can check out links to our podcast and our friends at Does This Game Suck. If you have any questions or topics for us, email us at the show at theitchnetwork.com. And don't forget, we do new videos every week. <laughs>